let's uh, move on to a, a more explicit case, all right? Michael Savage. This guy is, is, is one of the top radio demagogues out there on the right. He, he is astonishing. He's really a piece of work. I had a, a Bush moment when I was sitting in the back of a cab, you know, alone. <laughs> and the cab driver uh, had the radio turned way up. And there was uh, Savage, uh, you know, ranting. I mean, the guy was fit to be tight. You could hear the spittle, you know, bouncing off the microphone. He was talking about Clinton and how decadent, disgustingly soft, and decadent, and carnal, and revolting Clinton was. And he compared Clinton to the Weimar Republic. Uh, kids, th that was the... <laughs> that was the democratic interval before Nazism. See, the Nazis felt the same way about the Weimar Republic, that it was horribly decadent, liberal democracy, yuck. You know, we got to get rid of it, got to clean it up, okay? Uh, he also, you know, carries on about the fact that Europe must defend its Christian heritage. Do you know what his real name is? His name is Mike Wiener. <laughs> okay? The guy is Jewish. He's from the Bronx. And he's also, you know, probably the most uh, foaming-at-the-mouth homophobe on the media scene today, which is really saying something. He, he had a short-lived TV show based on his radio show, Savage Nation. And a gay caller, you know, phoned in, had a complaint of some kind. And uh, Savage said to him, get AIDS and die, you pig. <laughs> Shocking, isn't it? Let's go back to 1983, when Mike Wiener's first book came out. It's called Vital Signs. It's an autobiographical novel. It's about a Jewish guy from the Bronx, you know, goes west to make his career, and he's extremely anxious. He's got terrible anxieties, among which is the fear that he's homosexual. Though he admits to being, this is the main character, being drawn to masculine beauty, the narrator confides that, quote, I choose to override my desires for men when they swell in me, waiting out the passions like a storm below decks. You understand what this means? <laughs> this guy is a gay homophobe and a Jewish Nazi. <laughs> now, we're getting at something important here, because he's not really that unusual. You know, this Clinton phobia, what was it about? What was the reason for it? It didn't make any sense. I mean, what Clinton was a moderate Republican. Let's be honest. You know, half the time, he was voting with the rightmost members of the Senate. They should have given him a trophy. And they were, you know, railing against him all the time, never about his policies, just about him, him. What was it? What was that? What was the source of that? What were they against? Look at a couple of more examples. William Bennett. Now we're getting into more familiar territory. <laughs> William Bennett, author of the Book of Virtue,